back of my shoulder, so right where my arm meets my back, meets my torso. It's the posterior cuff. You could use a ball right there on it. If it's too tender using the ball on any of these, you could reduce it down to the foam roller. Less pressure, you could regress it. This is very tender in this case, but I'm going to see if I can breathe through it. I'm going to support my head with my opposite hand right there. Breathe. That is very tight. I'm going to do my deep breaths in through my nose and out through my mouth. Uh-huh. Okay, let's try that good stuff on the right side of the other side. So again, where my arm meets my torso right here, you can see the shoulder underneath that. It's the posterior cuff of the shoulder, shoulder cuff. And uh, let's support my head. Not so bad on this right side. I think I could tolerate it much, much easier. And uh, support my head, making a fist. You put a pillow there or pad. Now, if it's tolerable, you could even move your arm. You could internally rotate that shoulder. It's going to get into that shoulder cuff back there even more. And you rotate it externally, which is going to compress that tissue back there. This is going to open it up. This is going to close it off a little bit. 